So right now we're going to talk about set notation. Um, this is commonly used as you get into higher mathematics, different kinds of notation, and one of them being set notation. Um, so when we use set notation, um, we have we use braces, and then we usually use x or whatever variable we're going to use, and then a straight line, and then we say, so how this is read is x such that, so that straight line means such that, uh, let's say x is a whole number less than 5. Less than 5, and then we end with the brace. So x such that x is all the stuff we just wrote. Um, so let's call that set A. That is set A. So when we say x, such that x is a whole number less than 5, another way we can write what A is would be all the elements in that set. So it would include 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And that would be it. We wouldn't include 5 because it's saying less than 5. So that would be the same thing. Um, now let's say, let's have another one. Let's call B, actually we could just stick with A. That's good. Um, so then another symbol that we use with set notation is looks like draw a line there. Like kind of like a curved E. Like a capital E but curved. So what this symbol means is is an element of. Is an element of. And then if we use the same symbol but with a line through it, we would say is not an element of whichever set we're talking about. So let's say we talk we're talking about let's back up. Let's say for example um, four. So if we say 4, we could say 4 is an element of set A. Or if we had 3, we would say negative 3 is not an element of A. And then just a couple more symbols that we use. a circle with a line through it, this is called an empty set. Empty set. And this is often used to denote no solution as well. No solution. And then one more. A kind of like a, a sideways U with a line under it. This is the symbol for a subset. Subset. So let's, um, let's name another set. We'll call this one set B. Set B is, let's say, 1 and 2. So if we want to talk about subsets, we could say set B is a subset of set A. Because remember, A was 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So since everything in B was in A, we would say B is a subset of A. So it's kind of like it's a set, but a little less than that. Now let's, let's do an example where we would have no solution. Um, let's say we um, are talking about set C being, let's say, X such that x is a negative integer less, or sorry, not less. x is a negative integer more than 8. x is a negative integer more than 8. So is that possible to have a negative integer more than 8? 
Well, that's not even possible. So we would say that's an empty set. We could even maybe say C is an empty set because there's no number more than eight that is negative. And there is a few examples of different set notation and how we use it.